Hello YouTube! It is me, Toy Ventures, here again with another figure review. And today we are taking a look at something that just only recently came up on the Walmart website. Uh, this is part of Mattel's new release. It's for showing up at SDCC. And I'm sure you've seen all the other YouTubers doing the reviews because we all got it today. Uh, those who ordered the day it went up on Walmart.com. The Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout Set. Now this is one of the few sets that uh, is actually in an enclosed box. Um, let me get out another Baryonyx figure. Here's the original. As you guys can see, uh, open box design. You can touch the Baryonyx and do its play feature. Uh, there are other sets that are like this. Just to name a few off the top of my head. The uh, helicopter... Uh, Battle damage, not battle damage, uh, destructive sword set with the pteranodon. The other dino rival set with Owen, the ATV, and Draco Rex. Uh, the other destructive swords too. Most of the destructive sword lines, in fact, all the destructive sword lines are made in enclosed boxes. So, but none of those reach the U.S. With, except for obviously the uh, helicopter one, because I did a review on that. But even that only appeared on the website. Anyway, getting off topic, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So yeah, we, what we get here is we get a nice motorcycle. People have been wanting uh, Owen motorcycle, but this is not the one seen in Jurassic World, unfortunately. This is slicks to be, I guess, uh, I don't know, a more uh, sci-fi or, you know, action-oriented motorcycle. Uh, it comes with a tracker, the same one that came with the Claire, uh, uh, the orange jacket Claire. Uh, it comes with a little rifle, and let me get out and bring the camera just a bit closer because you get—I know it's hard to see for you guys. Sorry, this is kind of uh, impromptu. Uh, also, sorry if the fan's kind of loud. This room is so hot that it is literally impossible to do it without it because I uh, would just melt. Anyway, so for what we get, we get the Baryonyx. Obviously, um, it's hard to call this a new design because I don't know if you guys noticed but like the uh, overall paint color the, the where the paint is placed is for the most part stayed the same actually no yeah no I was just looking at my other baryonics and uh what I thought because you know you see this um the darker colors going down to there it's very reminiscent of this baryonics's color scheme and I, and I don't have the green one on hand right now to go get it but I will for the review to uh, compare them all, but for now, here it is with the original Baryonyx release, and you know, the color th uh, schemings can get a little similar in places with like, uh, the darker colors on the back, and the uh, different colored snouts, so they have similar feels, but they are very different. Anyway, under, the ex under what you get in the box, uh, Baryonyx two copies that would have usually came with legacy characters in their single card the same uh, Demophodon that came with the mercenary figure uh, the flare that came with the legacy Ian Malcolm that uh, biker helmet is completely new the uh, armor bits from the other Owen the same one as this one but it was released on the single card and yeah that's pretty much it for the accessories very cool looking box here. I don't know if, uh, if this is going to be available in stores. I certainly hope so. Because seeing this on the shelf would look pretty cool. Uh, for, you got a nice picture of Rexy. The Battle Damage logo. Uh, the usual color scheme that you guys are all used to. Jurassic World. Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout. Uh, taking a look at the side. You got a nice picture of the Triceratops. On the back. Chomp. So this is it. I don't have all of the, uh, oh, before I go on, there's a little picture of Owen with all the armor on and the rifle and the tracker and whatnot. And then you have the infamous Pteranodon. That is not released here. Neither is the Plesiosaurus. When is that going to appear in our stores? Questions need to be answered. And on the other side, there is Rexy. So that's pretty much it for the box. Uh... I wish I could say I had all the, uh, going back onto what I was going to say earlier, I wish I had all the Baryonyxes, but this is only one of four. I have three of four. Uh, the other one I'm missing is the one that comes with the Lava Surge playset. At the time, I didn't feel the need to ever 
try and get that set because it's just another Baryonyx and one that doesn't have sound at that and uh, lesser paint. Uh, I, I originally said I was going to pass on this completely because I thought it was just going to be another Roar of Oars Baryonyx. Oh, whoopee, another one. But once I saw that it came with all this extra stuff, I thought, oh, we well, might as well. It looks pretty cool. And those are some useful parts. So here I am. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and take a look. And here we are with the set fully unboxed. Now, as I said before, you get your Baryonyx, your Flare, your Tracker, I assume that's a Tracker, Dimorphodon, two more uh, Comstognathus to add to your little horde, uh, Knight, and Motorcycle. <clears throat> now, um, yeah, for accessories, I'm always happy to get two more compies to add to my little uh, compie horde. So that's cool. I just wish they, the only one they made that stands comes with a Destructosaur set. That is infuriating. Mattel, if you're watching this, please take that mold from that Destructosaur set of the regular standing compi and mass produce it. That's what you should be repainting a million times. We need more that actually stand and don't just hug onto characters' arms. Please. Please. Anyway. Next, you get a little Dimorphodon. Look to do. I don't think too many people were uh, super hyped about this little guy. Um, yeah, your tracker, your flare, your motorcycle. Uh, it kind of resembles the one that Owen owned in Jurassic World. Just barely. Um, but it has this big, like, shield and gun holster on the front. Which, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. But it's not the motorcycle we... we been wanting but you know we'll take it we'll take it and you get your knight uh i mean uh owen but come on does this you know what he reminds me of and i wish i had this figure on hand but i unfortunately do not let me see if i can go find it real quick for all of you uh very veteran jurassic park collectors you know exactly who i'm about to uh bring out i did find him by the way but anyway, if you guys collect, you guys know exactly who I'm going to bring out. The Carter from the uh, Lost World Motorcycle Playset. I mean, look at them. Both have strange chest armor. Carter has weird shoulder pads, while Owen has the wrist pads, or the gauntlets. But, like, their helmet and their chest armor look so similar, it's hard to believe... Uh, or even accept that Mattel didn't take um, inspiration from the Kenner set, and I'm almost positive they did. The only thing that would cement that is if the, which I'm surprised it does not, the motorcycle has no diner damage feature, like it doesn't break in half or break in any way, which is kind of strange for the battle damage line. In fact, the only hint of battle damage you get is on the uh, Baryonyx here, and you get a slash on the neck and a slash on the thigh. Nothing on the other side, hinting that this guy has been battle damaged in any way. You are essentially just getting two paint apps that let you know this is a battle damage set. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and Owen's little rifle, none of the guns that come from the Mattel sets are ever too particularly amazing. This one's no exception. When I first saw the pictures, I was a little bit confused as to what kind of gun it was. Now I can see it's his lever action that he had in Jurassic World. Um, so yeah, I mean, Mattel figures can't even hold uh, 200 guns, so... He can't really shoulder it. But, like, if you have, you know, posable G.I. Joes or something, I'm sure they can hold it better. Come on, Mattel. How hard would wrist articulation have been? It would have made your figures a million times better. Because then they can hold the guns that they come with. But, you know, they're still pretty cool for non-gun-wielding characters. If your character does not wield a rifle, then the Mattel figures will suit you just fine. Anyway... So yeah, here's all the stuff it comes with. I mean, to review it as a playset, because that's what it's marked as, uh, I would say pretty weak at best. 
because it's more of just a figure pack. Look, I'm even having trouble getting Owen to hold both of the uh, sticks at once because his wrists can't rotate to properly go on them. So that, oh yeah, I got it right there. So there he is like that. And this is definitely a more play than display act, uh, set. This is meant to be played with because never once in any of the Jurassic World or Park movies did anyone wear this kind of armor. Um, this is just more of an action fantasy kind of thing. And I guess it's pretty cool. Um, I would have rather gotten the real motorcycle and maybe have it come with Echo. I know we're getting a single release Echo, but it's also the worst Raptor mold Mattel has put out. Uh, maybe like a battle damaged uh, Echo that could come with this. And then it's the real Jurassic World uh, motorcycle and then just add all, and then have a Jurassic World Owen. We've gotten this Owen, I believe four times. I could be wrong, it could be more. But I know there's at least the single card, the um, this release, and the ATV. Okay, so no, no. that's three. I'm almost positive there's a fourth, but I can't think of it right now. The bottom line, I don't know why this is the Owen that keeps getting released. At least the Lockwood battle, da the Lockwood da uh, battle Owen looks more like Owen with the vest and everything, but this should have came with the Jurassic World Ellen. And should have came with the uh, Echo. But the Baryonyx is nice. I feel like the Baryonyx could have been a little bit more. It definitely should have had like a side wound where you press it in, kind of like the Albertosaurus and the future Spinosaurus. And like a removable dino damage wound. I feel like that would have made it more worth getting because it'd make it just different enough from the others that it's worth adding to your collection if you're not just a pure completionist. If you're a completionist, I shouldn't even be talking because you're going to buy it anyway, you know? So, there's nothing really I can go over with this set. I mean, articulation, you guys already know. I'm sure most of you guys have seen at least one of the Baryonyx reviews or own one of the Baryonyx. I mean, all of you watching are Jurassic World friends, right? And I'm assuming most of you own at least one of the, of the four Baryonyxes released and own at least one of the Owens. So you guys already know the articulation is the same. It's a repack figure. It's the exact same as the uh, single card, just with missing maybe one of the accessories that being whatever little creature Owen came with that Owen came with I don't know I haven't oh and the shield yeah he came with a little shield too didn't he not different enough to really make it too worth it the compies are nice and then Morphodon is a big old meh and uh, the rifle definitely feels too small to be Owen's Marlin that he used in Jurassic World cool thing is it does have storage and the storage slot is actually pretty loose so I could imagine if you guys have any other uh, rifles maybe some GI Joe rifles that might be able to fit in that little holster so is you know that's what I like to do with these sets I usually don't use the Mattel humans as you guys know uh, nothing against the Mattel humans it's just the GI Joes and Marauders I use work better with for me because I have a lot of uh, firearm wielding characters and I need that extra articulation. You also get, you know, Owen's little sheath knife that goes on his back and the tracker. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to say. It's a motorcycle and an action figure with a couple little dinos. Um, the big focus of the set is obviously the Baryonyx. Now, I don't have the Lava Sword set. But let's go ahead and take a look at this guy with these other three companions from this series. Okay, so here we have the three sisters lined up. Now, uh, the moment I saw this Baryonyx at STCC, if you guys don't know what that is, San Diego Comic Con, um, I thought, wow, that looks like the old Jurassic Park dinosaur set that Hasbro re-released back in the 90s. I'll go ahead and show a comparison picture right now. I'm sure you guys could also see the similarities that I saw. 
just an interesting note that, you know, it's like once more, it's a case of Mattel paying homage to the uh, toys that came before. So really cool. Uh, here you can see what I was talking about earlier, that most of the Baryonyxes share the same overall design where it's a main color, a darker color just splotched on the top, and then some differentiation, differentiation color in the, in the snout. And I, I made up a word there. I couldn't think of the word on time. You know how I am. For this guy, it's the blue, the yellow, and the yellow. So, yeah, I mean, they all follow the same general rules, just the colors are mixed up and the stripings are extended or shortened or, you know. Except for this guy who has this really awesome uh, color shading in the thighs. I already covered that in his review. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really need to go over size or scaling because you guys already know what these guys are. Uh, this is their fourth baryonyx. I'm sure the articulation and scaling uh, factor is, or that addition is really obsolete at this point because it's the same exact figure, just no electronics inside of it and new paint. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the review. Guys, we do have some announcements. I know you guys saw our trailer. If you guys haven't seen our trailer, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's the video right before this one. It is Operation... Uh, Guardian Angel. It is uh, based off of the same Brachiosaurus from Fallen Kingdom, and it's the um, mission to save it. We're gonna, we're not gonna leave it behind. I'm still working on the movie now. When it's gonna be released, I don't know. But if you guys want to, you know, have the first notification that it's gonna be released the next day, go on my Instagram. It's in the link description. I can't put a link, but uh, I did put. You know the name so you guys know where to go if you guys have an instagram go check it out that's why i have a lot of video updates and yeah that's pretty much all the news i have for now um if you guys want to see more trailers go to the brachiosaurus trailer and comment down below and let me know and with that guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time this is toy adventures signing out